All right, we're going to show you how to build and file an IFR flight plan with ForeFlight. So we have the low end road chart up here. We're going to just tap on the FPL for flight plan. We're going to take off our fly with November 405 Sierra Bravo. We're going to fly from Laconia Airport to New Bedford Airport. Um, there is a notum there. We look at it. What does it tell us? Uh, runway 5 and 23, it looks like they're closed up for taxing, so we're just going to uh, have to keep that in mind here. Um, we're going to leave at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, this can be an IFR flight, and based on that magnetic heading that I see, we're going to be probably getting an initial altitude assignment of 5,000, so I'll put that in there. Close that. I want to look at the routes, so I'll go over here to the right, and I'll look at routes. And recommended routes, uh, it looks like the Gardner VOR to the T393 um, um, T route and then to the Providence VOR. So we'll select that and we'll select route and add it. I'm going to ignore the altitude request there. Um, and we can look down here, close out flight plan for a second. We can see it's taken us uh, to the west of Manchester and west of Boston, down over Providence to the Providence VOR and then to New Bedford. All right, so now. Um, Let's take a quick look at the winds for New Bedford. And we'll put in KEWB. And from the weather perspective, Moss is showing at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Winds pretty much 2009 to 14 knots. So we know runway uh, 523 are closed. So we'll just keep that in mind here in a minute. So let's go back to our map, back to flight plan, and we'll look at procedures. And on the direction that I'm going, um, heading toward the south uh, east here as I get down toward Providence, I'm gonna pick an approach plate that looks like I'll use the RNAV 1-4. It's not necessarily the best wind, but uh, probably makes the best sense from the direction I'm coming. And it looks like initial approach fix C-I-R-I-R, CIRA -I -R -I -R, might be a good one to use. We'll add that to the route. And you can see now that the approach has been added. We'll close out of this. And as we look at this flight, we'll see that we're gonna basically fly from Laconia down to the Gardner VOR, get on the T393 route, follow that all the way down to the Providence VOR, and then we'll fly to initial approach fix as CIRA. We'll do a procedural hold and then fly uh, straight in for runway four. Uh, if we look here, uh, we'll probably land on one four. There we'll have somewhat of a crosswind, about a, about a 60 degree crosswind component. Um, but since five and two, three are closed, that probably makes our best sense here. So we'll plan to do the um, LP um, with the MDA of 540 feet um, into New Bedford. All right, so once we've got that plan kind of figured out, we'll go here and pack it by tapping on the red icon on the suitcase and we'll pack the flight. Putting all the tips of airport notams, weather information, weather notams in, fuel prices, etc. All right, it's all packed. All right, so we have our route. We're going to, it says it's an hour and 48 minute flight to get there. We're going to move it to our flight plans. Here we go. There it is right here. Uh, we'll go ahead and get a briefing. This is a legal formal weather briefing. Uh, I always like to use this tool uh, for getting my briefing because it's a kind of a systematic approach. It goes over air mats first of all, mountain obscuration, um, icing air mats, high level turbulence, gives me a uh, surface analysis chart so I can check the overall lows and highs and fronts, etc. We've got the METARs, uh, we've got PIREPs, we have cloud coverage, we can do different times. Uh, we can do surface winds. We can look at the terminal aerodrome forecast along the route. We can look at the wind chart at altitudes, and we can look at the vertical um, component of wind. And then we've got our winds aloft tables. 
And then the various notums, departure notums, en route notums, destination notums, comm notums, et cetera. And we can work our way all the way through these notums and eventually we'll get back to the beginning. I can click on the box with the arrow and I can email it to myself or text it to myself so I've basically ensured that I've got a formal briefing and have a record of it. So now I go down here and I look at the flight. It's the 7th, uh, 7th of May, 2 p.m. We're planning to go from Laconia to New Bedford. Um, we're flying in 405 Sierra Bravo. It's a P-28 Piper Warrior with uh, various types of avionics on board, including VOR, uh, GPS, and DME. Um, we're flying IFR. There's our route. Um, if we wanted to change the routes, we could go in here and modify it and pick a different route if we want that, are, that is either recommended or ATC cleared recently. Uh, we can do a weight and balance. So uh, we'll just go with, in this case, um, 405 Sierra Bravo. Um, there's our basic empty weight. I'll just say myself at 190. And let's say no other people on board, but in the back seat, I'll have my flight bag, which maybe weighs 20 pounds. I'll put other. And baggage, we'll have 10 pounds in there for a quart of oil and maybe a blanket or something. And then we'll put 40 gallons of usable fuel on board. And then we can see here that we are um, right in the sweet spot uh, of the envelope. And it looks like we're able to fly. We can look at the summary. We could print this out and email it to ourselves right here again. Uh, print it out, sign it if we needed to. Then we just tap that arrow and we go back and we can see that we're in balance. We did manual fuel, 48 gallons on board. Uh, and we have no other things we need to really note in here, so we'll just proceed to file. Again, we're going to see that it's an ICOA IFR flight, general aviation. The aircraft is a again, P-28A Piper Warrior. Um, trail speed 105 knots. Um, we're departing Laconia. We've got our en route path, and then we should have our altitude of 5,000. That's our initial altitude, time around an hour and 37 minutes. Four hours and 38 minutes of fuel on board. Um, destination is New Bedford. And we have um, any others that we could put, um, put in for emergency equipment we might have on board, et cetera. Um, and our contact information. Now we just hit file. And the flight plan is filed, as you can see there. So now we can go and amend it if we want, if we want to do some type of change. Uh, but at this point, we're ready to go out and pre-flight the aircraft. And when we're ready to pick up our FR clearance, we'd call clearance delivery or ground, depending what type of airport we're at. Um, and pick up the IFR clearance, and hopefully it stayed the same. If it didn't, we'd make the modifications. We'd go use something like, um, go to scratch pad area, we could put in our flight plan um, as we pick it up from clearance delivery and ground, and then we can load it into our avionics. So that's all there is to um, inputting a IFR flight plan and filing a, a flight plan with ATC and how to pick it up. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you get notified on my next video.